Stuntman and stunt actor, I mean, the toughest thing about being a stunt actor is uh, trying to string a coherent sentence together after you just got your bell rung on the previous uh, take, but <laughs> you're always dying. You just feel like you're really a part of it because you're conversing with someone and then you, we always die. Be prepared to be injured. We have a 100% injury rate, first of all. Uh, um, be patient. You, you've got to learn how to do a lot of different things and do them well, and then trying to break into the business is very tough, convincing people uh, to let you perhaps help or ruin their career based on your performance and uh, injure or make safe the other people around you based on your performance. People don't want to do that very easily, so you've got to convince them and do the, the groundwork and uh, work your way in after a few years, but it certainly is rewarding if you get there. Uh, in this case, the toughest thing about it was my face, because it was uh, steel, Colossus. For me, that's why I brought him. Uh, I played professional rugby before this, so my bone count from rugby is much higher than, uh, than, than stunt work. As a matter of fact, I've been quite lucky in the stunt biz, because you get to wear pads. It's a whole different world for me. Would you say playing rugby is a good uh, preparation for this kind of work? I would do it the other way around. <laughs> do some stunt work first, then get into rugby. You gradually work your way up to it.